Okay, so before we go with that, I'm going to start with this first card here. So the very first card we have for you is called the Source. This is similar to the Sun card. This is um, the Sun energy, the Source, the power, the, the um, energy within. So there is some kind of beautiful, you guys are thinking about that. You might be thinking about what makes you happy, what brings you energy this month. You may be feeling um, the energy and, and feeling um, really happy. Um, you know, this is basically the sun card. Um, this is a card about thinking maybe what makes you happy, um, what gives you energy. Um, you're going to be thinking about happiness this month a lot. And the very first card we pulled was satisfaction. Wow. So there you go. Something, something good is happening here. The next card we have is postponement. So this card is talking about you guys are going to be doing things. Uh, it looks like a lot of you uh, are going to be really s s be feeling, you know, the sun, this energy, um, a glow, uh, a very um, high amount of happiness in you. And it's when you go out and do things in your life this month of June, um, take action towards things. Um, you're going to be seeing if you drive down the same road every day, you're all of a sudden going to see the same, that road. You're going to see it differently. You're going to see it vibrant. Um, you're going to see color that you haven't, that you didn't notice before. It looks like you're going to be, um, feeling more alive than you ever have this month when you take action when you're when you're in the midst of taking action towards things that's when you're going to feel it you're just going to be feeling so alive so happy because this card is about seeing things in a very vibrant beautiful happy way as where before in the past if you look around here there's this black and white it's kind of like a gloom and doom and then now you're seeing a different the same the same view but you're seeing it now with color vibrancy alive so it looks like you might be uh doing things new this month or doing the same things but it's going to the outcome is going to be better or you're going to be feeling a lot more a lot better about things in your life going on and then we have conditioning. So you're going to be also feeling um, like you found your identity. You're going to be feeling like powerful in who, of who you are, regardless of what other people are doing. You don't have to follow the, the crowd or follow the sheep. You don't have to be a sheep at work. You can be independent and um, feel good about who you are and go after what it is that you want and be authentic to who you are. You don't have to do what other people are doing just because they're doing it. You can actually do things. Um, and you're feeling that you don't have to do things the old way or a way that other people are doing it. You just don't have to you. It's time for you to stand in your own two feet. It's time for you to stand and stand your ground. It's almost like you guys are finding yourself. That's what I'm the vibration I'm getting. You're finding your true happiness, your true identity, and it, it, you're finding out that you're, you're very unique, um, and it's helping you really see a lot of happiness in your life right now. And then we do have this card of control. So a lot of you guys might be in control of your life right now. You might be taking control of your life because once you determine who you are and you know, you don't have to do follow what other people are doing or, you know, you're not maybe like other people where you may have been doing things the same way other people were doing it because you thought you had to. And now you're seeing like, no, I don't have to do things that way. I can do things even better. I can do things even more successful where I'm happy in my life. And you're taking control, you guys. Wow, this is fantastic. Some of you are taking control of your life this month of June and you're going towards a really, really, really look at all these cards. Three cards talk about total satisfaction, complete freedom, um, happiness. I, I just can't even go on about it. It's so good. Um, okay. So, Wow. All right, hold on one second, you guys. Um, okay, so sorry. Okay, so back to the reading. Let's start with the first card here, the main card.
card here in your reading is two of pentacles. Two of pentacles. So Capricorn, it looks like there is a very overwhelming energy um, and it is overwhelmingly you're not able, somebody's not able to manage their life because they're just, it's out of control. There's too much going on. Um, they're unable to make a decision about something. Uh, if they have to make a decision because they're scattered, they're really, really unable to keep it together. There's just way too much going on. And, um, it appears there's just no way to manage it. So something is going on here where you're having, somebody's having a difficult time managing their time. And the next card we have is the Queen of Cups. This could be a water sign. It could be a, ca uh, a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And it could be a male or a female. And this person is very nurturing, very um, loving, solid, um, creative. They can um, pretty much manifest a lot, you know, anything they want because they're so creative. Um, and they're grounded and they're just really nurturing. So this person is here for you this month. Maybe this person is going to somehow um, help you manage your time um, more wisely in a more of a creative way. So um, this person is going to be here for you this month. The next card we have is, um, this is the Seven of Cups. And it's in reverse. So some of you are going to be making a decision this month that's going to make you really happy. Um, it looks like you're pinpointing and making a, a decision about a, an emotional decision that's going to bring you a lot of fulfillment and happiness. And my gosh, that's what we have. We have ha once you make this decision, a choice, um, you're going to make you're going to choose something. You're going to make a choice. You have clarity and you now know what you want. Once you make this decision, uh, look at you. You're going to be so happy and fulfilled. So, wow, great for you. You guys are going to be making a choice. Um, the next card we have is the Six of Swords in reverse. So somebody's having is moving away from some, a negative situation they were involved in, you or somebody else. So you guys might have been involved in a... Um, a situation where with a work or a relationship or a family, it doesn't matter who it was a set, you know, you're, you had a bad time and you separated and now you're moving, you're moving forward onto better things in your life. But it does appear because it's in reverse. It's telling me that somebody's having a hard time moving forward. They're still moving forward. Um, but it is at the same time, a little bit, um, hard for them to deal with. So it's almost like they're, they, they're, they're regretting move, not regretting, but it's almost like they're, you know, being a little bit stubborn. Like I, you don't, somebody doesn't want to let it go and it is time to let it go. Somebody needs to let go, uh, of the, let go of the bad things that have happened in their lives, the negativity, the disappointments, the feelings that were, you know, any deception or, um, hurt that was, that happened to you, um, in relationships or whatever, it's time to move, let it go. It's time to just, you know, forgive and forget, or just forgive and move on to the next stage in your life. Because you, you guys have all this happiness, amazing, amazing, amazing happiness here. All right. So the next card we have is the six of cups and the six of cups is in reverse. So a lot of you, some of you, um, are, are, are wanting things to be like they used to. Hence the reason why maybe it's hard to move away from the bad thing, the bad, the, the something in your past, um, that you miss that you, you you're actually going to miss it. Um, but it's time to move forward. You guys, it's time to let go. There's, it's time to, whatever this is that you're holding on to, um, and you're missing something from the past, maybe it wasn't the best thing for you anyway. So it's time for you to like, let it go. But some of you guys are going to be thinking about, um, somebody you miss or a situation or something from your past and your hope you're wanting. It seems like you want it to come back. You want something from your past to come back into your life or, you don't want um, things to change. You want things to stay the way they were, but it's time to move forward. And in the past, there was the nine of pentacles. This could be a Virgo Capricorn, um, like yourself, or it could be, um, a Taurus, 
It could be a male or female. This also just could be you, Capricorn. In the recent past, um, you or somebody else has be, were, became financially stable in your life. Um, you're able to take care of yourself independently by yourself. And you're confident about, uh, confident about that. You feel good about yourself, that you can take care of yourself. And you can do it by yourself. So somebody here is um, well taken care of. They're, they're able to take care of themselves. And uh, it's very good. It's very positive. So the next card we have is the three of, um, three of Wands. And this is in the position of how you're looking at your life and your situation right now. And it looks like you guys are planning your future. You're planning stability. You've been working on stability. You've um, done some work. You've laid down some, some think plans or taken some action. So you can have a stronger and more solid future. And it looks like you're wanting that to come now. You're waiting for and wanting the stability to, to happen in your life. You're waiting for, you know, the, the, you're waiting for achievement. You're waiting for success. You're waiting for the payoff. Um, so good for you. You guys are waiting for something good to come into your life. You're waiting for some, you know, stability. Maybe you want a solid foundation as far as a, rom a romantic relationship. Maybe you want to plan your life in a, in a relationship. Or this could be just your life alone, you know, planning your life with or without somebody. But it could be a business a business thing you've been planning or just a moving or a home or anything to do with planning your future. The next card we have is four of pentacles. This is in the position of the people or situations in the environment around you. And how they're feeling about this, about what's going on. It looks like somebody's really being um, saving their money. Somebody's really holding on to every penny that they make. They're really being protective over their money. Um, they don't want to spend money right now. They want to save, save, save. Maybe they want to save for their future. I don't know what they're trying to save, but they're really holding on tight to their finances. If they're if this is not finances, they could be holding on to their emotions. Um, maybe not really wanting to discuss their emotions um, because they want to be guarded. They want to be safe. They, they don't feel safe maybe by um, opening up. But this person is either holding on to their emotions or money or both. And this is the lovers. We have the lovers here in the position of what it is you guys are hoping for. And you guys are hoping for passion. You're hoping for passion, desire, passion, love, um, excitement, um, self-love, love with another person. You guys are really hoping for that. You're really hoping for this to come into your life. And maybe, um, it looks like some of you might've, um, like I said, you, you, you might be missing the passion. There might've been maybe some passion that's no longer in your life from somebody. Maybe the passion died, died out, for instance. Um, and now you're wishing you could, you could get it back. Somebody wants something to come back from the past. And, um, you know, it could be the other person might not be wanting to open up right now or communicate with you possibly as well. But I do see that you want this. This is what you're striving for. You really do want love and you really want to feel love within yourself and others. And you just want, you just want to be, want love and passion. And the next card we have is a two of swords. So by the end of this month, this is telling me that you guys are making a decision. You're making a choice. Uh, you have, and look, we have this card here that also says that you're making a choice. So for sure, by the end of this month or sometime in June, you guys are making a decision. You're making a decision about something that's going to really make you fulfilled and happy and something that is, that you've been, you know, a, 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 the right choice for you. You're going to be making the right choice. And you're going to make one finally. It looks like you were confused in the past. You were not really sure how to make a choice or what to do. But this is the month. You're actually going to do it. You're going to make a decision. You're going to make a choice, you guys. And this choice is, un you're going to be taking control of your life. You're going to be independent. You're going to be going after what truly brings you the most joy and happiness. And you are going to be, look at this. You're going to be so fulfilled. You're going to be seeing things in a new light because it looks like maybe you, maybe you haven't been happy, you guys, in a long time. I don't know, but something's revoke, something's like changing you, changing you to the point where it's almost like a brand new you has been born or is being born. It's almost like, I don't know what this is. Um, 
It's a brand new you is how I'm going to say it. You are becoming, you're stepping into your, uh, an amazing power that you have within yourself and you're planning a better and solid future. Um, good for you guys. Let's go ahead and pull, um, one of these cards from the Ellen Fairchild Oracle cards, please provide the message for, um, Capricorn, please provide a message that they need to hear the most for the advice uh, or message here. Capricorn, here we go. Oh, it didn't come out. Capricorn, what is the message? Relax and hold of darkness and be at cause. Oh my gosh, how pretty. Look at she's standing in this beautiful energy that surrounds her. This, there's a tree here where she's really grounded. And there's this beautiful light that's wrapping around, like supporting her, making her solid, making her, um, it's almost like the angels are, are, are holding you up. It's almost like the angels are like making you have a very strong, solid foundation. And it goes really good with your reading because that's, we have control. This it's like, you're taking control of yourself and you're, and you're, you're taking control of your happiness and what makes you happy. And you're going after it this month. And, uh, whether you, you know, I don't know what's going on with this past situation, but it's, it's almost like you're leaving, you're letting go, or you're wanting to let go of, uh, somebody from your past, or you want to reunite with somebody from your past. Either way, you guys are taking control of your life and you, you're going to go after, you're going to go after what most makes you the happiest. Um, and you're going to go for it. So congratulations, you guys, this is big. You're going to be very, very, very happy, um, with your decision. And it's going to bring you so much joy. It's unbelievable. It's all over the cards. So I'm sorry, back to this. Let me read this to you. All right. So bear with me here. I'm going to read this card to you. It says, um, if I can find it. Okay. Relax the hold of darkness and be the, be at cause dear sacred rebel. This moment in your life requires great courage. Fortunately, you possess that in bucket loads you are being asked to, to also, I'm sorry, to allow yourself to be lifted out of one level of knowing reality and into a new level of higher voltage, higher reality, higher voltage reality requires a more absolute trust and, and a heart that is surrendered into the greater heart of the universe so that life can happen to us through us and with us more quickly, more radiantly, um, more beautifully and more boldly. You are now being invited into this new reality where things happen quickly and according to bold, loving optimism. This is a reality, not only of potential, but of manifestation of a great, big cosmic. Yes. You guys, I'm so excited for you. You really are. I said earlier that I'm really getting the feeling that you're getting a new you. Um, and you really are, you've made a decision. You it looks like you guys are making a decision to not only go into a new being, a new identity, a new authenticity about your truth and your light and who you are and what it is that you want. You're just going to be so happy and so alive and so fulfilled that I just, I'm, I'm, I wish I had this reading. I mean, my gosh, you guys, um, there is some kind of, of course, um, something about your past that you do need to either let go of or, um, uh, manage in some way, because right now things are out of control, but you want, you are going to be making a decision. Once you make a decision and a choice, oh my gosh, that is through the roof. You guys are going to be supported by the universe and you're going to be, things are going to manifest out of the blue for you once this is, this occurs. And it's, you're going to be kind of probably, you might even be shocked because things are just going to happen, um, at a, you know, just bam, 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 one thing after another. And it's going to be kind of like surprising even to some people, like you can't believe it. It's like so good to be true, but it is true and it is happening for you. So stay strong, you guys, for those of you that need some, some courage and some strength, just know that, um, it is coming. You are going to have what you want and you are going to be extremely different and extremely happy and satisfied. 